Hello. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Hopefully you are having a great day. And I hope you're not getting chopped out in the uh, small uh, uh, mid-range movements on Bitcoin. I guess you are uh, a large portion of you is here, given that I've used the clickbait title. Um, well, for you, I am Crypto Michael. I uh, post some TA on social media, sharing my view on social media. And today we're going to discuss uh, Ripple. Essentially, it is XRP, but uh, I'll just use Ripple. Um, we're going to discuss some stuff about Stella Lumen, and we're going to discuss Verge and some small portions about Bitcoin. But I guess we just get the same conclusion as yesterday. Uh, well, everybody is uh, saying that their house is on fire because Bitcoin dropped like 50 bucks. It's not too interesting. Um, so... The first major question is when are the mages going to move as you can see uh, Bitcoin is already acting in this range over here while the mages are flagging and lagging behind heavily um, except for Cardano and Stellar Stellar is doing well wonderful Cardano has already broken above this high but coins like Ethereum Litecoin EOS NEO uh, ontology and Ripple are still lagging behind. And obviously Ripple has a way different structure as you can see the moment that it starts to move it's usually one big impulse wave uh, and then it drops heavily back again. And as you can see on the chart there's some some interesting stuff we can share here is that we are still making lower highs. Um, yes technically we've broken the high but we did really hold it so um, if you erase this one and can count this as the last high it's still lower highs and right now we are still trending down so that's basically the same conclusion as the bears have on Bitcoin right now as technically we are still making lower highs uh, but from here we are making an uptrend in which we flip the significant support here and are back in a narrow range which was in this case deviation and in this case probably is also deviation why do i call deviation well the actual level to clear and flip is this level here if we clear it and flip it we got a new trend going um, in this case i'm assuming we are in between a range so i actually a very narrow range before navigating in which making this move flipping this level would therefore uh, trigger a continuation to the upside in which I assume we'll take the liquidity above this high and at least test 25 cents the next level is 28 and a half but most likely the next breaker would potentially be a test of this high and might actually mean that we ran ready towards 40 cents and when we get such a rally or when we get this move it is anticipated that the whole downwards movement and sentiment is over for uh, the majority of the crypto altcoins and we might actually have started a bullish market and yes there are still variables that are really um, unstable let's put it that way as there are still the economy and the the economic uncertainties with the COVID-19 and potential lockdowns etc um, and a potential downturn on the economy in general and the stock markets we know that um, but in general, I assume that once we drop or bounce back above 19.8, 20 cents, we continue the rally and we likely tackle the high above like 34 cents. So in this case, we can also add the 100 day and 200 day MA, which is squeezed in between, um, in which a breaker above towards like 21 and a half and a flip of the 200 MA is a trigger we want to see. We know that already. And in this case, we're firstly going to break above it for like one year. We did here, couldn't hold. So the crucial part is that we hold above and then we can start an uptrend on this one. If we get it towards XRP BTC, we can see that there is still not many bullish stuff going on. Heavily down below the 100 day and 200 day MA. Uh, lost this whole range, which is the crucial part. But as I've been discussing previously, is this might be deviation. 
in which if a uh, the price of Ripple reclaims the level around 2450 to 2550, uh, we might actually have a range bound play towards 3100 sets or maybe even 3800 sets. Based on the weekly, it's okay, um, but the USDT pair is leading in this case, in which the BTC pair is just still heavily going down and looking like ass. Uh, but as you can see here, we reclaimed the previous support for support and we started to moon heavily. In this case, I'm also, as you can see, uh, checking whether, let's erase a large part of all these movements is um, what I'm watching here is that we see a potential falling wedge structure in which we make a bullish divergence, which is short term a potential bullish case in which we are currently fighting this previous support zone in which I want to see a move like this. And I'll just try to point it out. Okay, so what we want to see is that we break above, test this support, confirm it. So this is your trigger. If we do that, then this is deviation and the liquidity is taken on the downside, so we might tackle these highs. And once we do that, we can accelerate towards the key pivotal area, which is between 2450 and 2600 sets. Once we flip this, then your second entry and most best entry is there, and we might assume that we're ready towards these highs here. So yes, it's starting to look better. Um, and if you look to use the USDT chart, you can also see that there is accumulation or an increased volume going on right now. Um, stuck in between levels, as we know, breakout and retest would be a significant trigger for continuation. Uh, potential falling wedge structure as well. Um, it's looking okay, but I guess the majority is watching Stellar. And as we know, we held. The areas we wanted it to hold, we held. So um, if we add the 100 day and 200 day MA here as well, we can see that we are still above them. We have flipped it here for support, which is the same as we did with Silica before Silica broke out to the upside. And right now we've had a wick to the downside to just take probably liquidity or just a fake out or just a market sell, whatever occurred here. Um, that's just an uh, outlier. Right now we are making that higher low and we didn't want the price to drop below 715, preferably not even below 735. And this OB we held here, so we could be likely consolidating for, for a bit longer period in which the flip of 780 to 800 sets would confirm that we are going to test the uh, highs over here, which is between 860 and 920. And as I've been stating in the video yesterday uh, uh, earlier, is it, it's likely that after so many tests, the next breakout will be the breaker essentially given that we have these uh, MAs confluent here and that this whole range is a very long 12 month range that um, when it breaks to the upside, it usually triggers a heavy, heavy move, um, impulsive move. And you won't be even surprised if it rallies towards 1800 sets or something. So um, given that Stellar is looking quite good and pre Cardano, pre Silica uh, perspectives here, I assume that once XLM moves, XRP usually follows. So yes, I'm definitely eager to watch XRP here as I assume that once this one breaks out of the range, XRP will break back into the range and just follow Stellar. If we see the USDT chart, We've got these many nice uh, uh, Picasso paintings as well. Similar resistance area, as you can see. The crucial area, which is this level here, this zone, we held, uh, could have actually dropped towards like six and a half. We did test it here. Uh, we are consolidating now through which cons continuation to the upside uh, usually leads in expansion to the upside, in which I'm assuming that we're going to test 11 cents. Flip side, if we lose the six and a half zone, I assume we drop below the 100 day and 200 day MA, and then I'm also assuming that Bitcoin will lose its range. And then I'm going to watch whether five cents is a support zone so for a bounce play, or um, preferably the area around 4.3 to 4.5 is going to be support. And when we discuss Bitcoin, we can just zoom in a little bit on Bitcoin and erase the 100 day and 200 day MA. Um, as discussed, 
The crucial area is 92 to 93. I want to see that higher low construction here. Uh, we are basically just following the plan. So I don't really have much to add. But as long as we hold here and grind back up, I'm assuming we are going to see already towards 98 and some more consolidation and grinding upwards in the coming weeks. I'm not expecting expansion and a heavy volatile move to occur um, inside this range. So a bit likely like these moves over here in which we just uh, grind up for the coming weeks. Um, if we get above 10.2 to 10.5, I'm assuming we're going to see acceleration given that we are facing a heavy resistance and then the next levels are 11.6 to 12. Uh, if we lose this 9.2, 9.3 zone, I think we're just going to skip this level and probably drop to like 8.5, 8.6, make a small bounce and continue the downwards momentum. So that's a small summary on this one. And then finally we got Verge. Uh, which basically hit the target zones, as we know, after the breaker here. Uh, it flipped the 55 level for support, and then it fastly flipped 66 as well. And we discussed that this is the next target zone, uh, which is also showing on higher RSI right now, in which I'm not too much interested in trading this one. Um, I'm interested in getting a buy the dip in this green zone. So right now I won't be interested until we get a clear entry in either there, or potentially even here between 55 to 60 or maybe 66. If you get lower than this one, I'm going to scale in here or look for how the structure develops. Um, but this area is probably just a skull play and just seeing how it uh, grinds from there. Nice 100% move. And right now we are going to wait until it makes a structure. All right. That is a short 12 minute update on the markets. If you have enjoyed this video, please like beneath, reply, subscribe to the channel as I'm posting videos on a daily basis. Follow me on Twitter, check me on Cointelegraph and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.